We're at 122 Napier Street in South Melbourne, just camering up the lead off from the boundary trap. We've got a break here with roots getting in. Just gonna stick the jet up and try blast those so we can get past it. There's also another break in this joint here. Coming back. That's the Plum Creek where the earth where meets the PVC. And it comes out, this is through my guide hose here. We're in the back corner of the yard. We'll just check that quickly. So that's where those roots were. Just in that join. There seems to be a break there as well. Continuing up, we got an IO there. Still, other than where it changes into PVC here. Alright. Yeah, so that junction off to the right is the gully trap next to the next to the back door there. Continuing up now. We're in PVC here, which is good. Okay, coming to a bend here. There's an IO at the top. Okay, so that's just a bend with an IO on it. Nothing is coming from there. Just got a junction on its back here. So that's just a 90 junction on its back. We continue on. Junction up to the left. Can you run that? Okay, so that branch off to the left is the kitchen. Now we go past that, continue up here. So we're continuing up in the hallways. Heading toward. There is a junction off to the right here. Okay, I've just pulled back to the branch that the kitchen's coming in. And the toilet is also coming in off that branch off to the left. So now we'll continue back up the drain to where we were before. That junction off to the right. What's up there? Straight up. That's the head of the drain there. Okay, so that's the head of the drain, which is the basin in the bathroom. As we come back, the, there's a junction off to the right, which will be the... Okay, so the junction off the right will be a... will be an upstream, the upstream vent. And then as we come back, this junction off to the left, the shower, shower, toilet, and the kitchen are all coming to that one junction there. So that's all clear. Okay, so we've camered down the boundary trap, and we're out now into the sewer main, which runs along the alleyway out the rear of the property. As we're just coming back, now, cameraing back now. This is all earthenware here. You'll see, start to see massive tree roots here. Massive, growing all the way along. All the way along the pipe. 
They will need to be cut out. So then there's a big ball of tree roots there just as you come out of the water. So we go back through the trap. There's a cast iron trap. We come out and up the boundary trap. Now the boundary trap has the top of the boundary trap has been reinstated in PVC, but the bottom is a cast iron trap. So we'll just stick the machine down there and clean that right out. Okay, so we've just cabled down the boundary trap out into the main. We're just hammering back now. So we're hammering back. Now the roots that were in here were severe. Very bad. And these roots have been cut right out. There were roots in that join there. That's a tiny string. Now we're coming in, this is from earthenware into cast iron trap, going under the water. And now we're in the shaft, coming up. And out into the backyard, that's the boundary trap, the fence there. Okay, so we're camering up from the alleyway up this storm water. This is storm water now. From the rear of the property, and there's the pipe's been completely tr crushed by. There was a big tree there. The pipe was running right next to the tree stump. The pipe's been completely crushed. We've located it, and it is right next to the suspect tree stump. And he's going to. Do some work in the backyard so this whole back section will be replaced. And we come out here underneath the fence next to the back door there. Okay, so we're just cameraing from the curb up to the down pipe at the front of the property. Now you can see there's a hose, there's a hose I've stuck into the down pipe. So that's, and this is the only, there's only one downpipe coming to the front here. So I've had a hose running in there. Now, this is, looks like concrete pipe. Looks fairly damaged. Coming back now in um, this looks like it's a little bit of earthenware. Coming back. Now there is major break here. It's almost like a cavity's just made a big cavity. Back, back in the pipe here, as you can see, and it just comes out into this massive cavity here. We'll just locate that quickly. Okay, so I've located that 0.3 deep, just near the front corner of the house. Now we're in earthenware here. The pipe's actually in surprisingly good condition. Continuing back. Now it is holding a little bit of water here. That's just a bit of backfall though. 
not uh, not uncommon in first storm water. In the footpath. Correct. So now we're up and out. And you can see, hole in the footpath, it goes up. And the downpipe is on the front corner of the house up there.